for this exercise, click on Open, browse to your Chapter 10 folder, and open up Chapter 10 HVAC. The first thing to point out is accessing the Settings dialog box. On the Systems tab, you can see little arrows on certain panels of the ribbon. Clicking on one of these arrows brings up the Mechanical Settings dialog. It's also worth pointing out that if I'd clicked on Mechanical or Plumbing and Piping, we get the same dialog box. For Electrical, we get an Electrical dialog box. Initially, when we open our views, and what I want to do here is actually open up an HVAC plan, in your project browser, scroll down to Level 2 HVAC duct plan, and zoom into a region in the north part of the building, where we can see hidden lines. Let's go back to the Mechanical Settings dialog. Here we can see hidden lines. This is a project-wide setting that allows me to either display or not display hidden lines in a view. Although displaying hidden lines may well be a standard way of presenting your documentation, actually having hidden lines displaying is quite a memory-intensive process. Let's go back to that Mechanical Settings dialog. For now, we're going to ignore pipe settings and just look at the settings associated with mechanical. Let's look at duct settings. Here we can use annotation scale for single line fittings, which means that flanges and brakes take on the size of your annotation symbols. And here we've got the fitting annotation size. We've got things like air density and viscosity, how we want to see our duct sizes shown for dimensioning, the allowable increment for elbows, and then the standard settings for systems. Take for instance supply air. Here we can specify the type of duct, whether it's rectangular with mitered elbows and tees, or round with taps, and its default offset when it's been created using the duct routing tools. This can be set for the systems that you have defined in your project. We can also define the branch settings. We have the same systems, the same duct types, and we also have flex duct. So we have the type of flex duct loaded into your project and its maximum length. We then have sizes for rectangular, oval, and round. As you can see in here, we've got some standard sizes, whether those sizes are used in size lists and if they're used in sizing. So the size list is the drop down when you create a duct. There's my size list there. And if it's used in sizing, so when we use the sizing tool, Revit will look at these and pick from one of these options. As you can see at this point, we can add new sizes and delete sizes.